What's happening guys? I have a bit of a fun video for you today. I am going to be attempting to create modern artwork with a silencer. So the inception behind this idea was I created a video on how to clean your OSS suppressor about two years ago. You soak the can, shoot the gunk out. I shot it at a piece of drywall to see how much gunk did come out. Thought it was awesome because it's super clean. Turned out people in the comments kept saying, dude, this looks like modern artwork. How much for a suppressor painting? I'm like, you know what, that's a super good idea. So I went out, I bought some canvases, I bought some paint. Very reluctant about jamming paint down a suppressor, but we'll see how that goes. Bought a few different things. I'm like, let's try this out, see if we can't have some fun. So here's our setup. I got two OSS suppressors that were not soaked long enough, so it may not work to just shoot the gunk through. We'll find out. If not, we're gonna do the paint regardless. I got a Ruger American bolt action, that way, the back pressure with all the stuff in these won't blow paint and stuff back into an AR-15. Hopefully that makes cleaning easier. And then I just got the canvas sitting on the ground. Not really prepared for this today. I'm just having fun, seeing what's gonna happen. All right, no time like the present. We got the soaked 762, 12 hour soak. Gonna blast it, see what happens. Little bit of stuff. Not nearly as much as I was anticipating. Man, that 300 blackout smokes the dirt. That's pretty cool. I might pour a little more liquid in to see if we can't get some more effect out of that. I'm just committing to the mess today. This is already getting dirty. All right, I put more liquid in. There we go, baby. Look at that foam up. That is cool. First suppressor painting. Look at that on canvas too. It's pretty neat. It's literally, you got bullet holes in the canvas and then a sweet little pattern like this. I'm going to go ahead and later hit this with like a poly, like a spray poly. Man, it's getting bright out. But I don't know, for our first time doing it, that's kind of sweet. Okay, let's give the Magnum a shot. I did pour some more liquid in this. I shot at this one earlier, so it's got some bullet holes in it just as a test. But let's see how she goes. Dude, that's sweet. That is cool. Let's do it again. That is just fun. Try and lay them down like this before that stuff all... Maybe I should let the wet kind of drip down too. I don't know. This is going to be a fun little experiment. All right, guys, the way that turned out, I'm super excited. They look really cool now that, that they're drying. I'll show you that in a minute. But man, I am really nervous to do this. I got some just water washable paint here. Oh, this is gonna be weird. I did watch OSS do this themselves. I don't know if they used paint or what they did, but for uh, the 4th of July, a couple years ago, they just poured paint right in the can. I don't know how much to use. I hope that's enough. Maybe screw it. Good measure. All right, we're doing blue. Trying to get this in there so it like evens out. I don't know. I don't like sticking stuff in there that shouldn't be in there. But let's see what happens. Okay. It did come out. Sweet. Okay, but I definitely need more than just that. Okay, threw a little bit more blue in there. Ooh, that looks more like blue. All right, now I threw some red in there. Fairly certain it's gonna come out purple, but we'll see. Yep, that is purple. Magenta almost. Trying to do red, white, and blue. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, just dumped a bunch of white in here. Let's see how she goes. Yeah, I don't know, the light's not doing much. It's coming out red. It is kind of cool. Definitely stuff I can learn and figure out how to make these look sweet. I did try to take a little bit of water after the blue and wash that out, but still didn't do enough. I'm thinking maybe water shoot to clear it all. But for now, I think that's pretty sweet. And here it is, guys, drippy and everything. I think that'll add to it once I figure out more how to do this, but 
The speckling on the outside is absolutely awesome. You can see individually blue, red. The white didn't really show through because it just mixed with the other paint. But so far, I mean, that constitutes suppressor art to me. I think there's a lot of room for improvement, but there is potential. All right, guys, I am getting sweaty and I'm getting silly. I'm just going to put, I got six different colors of paint, so I'm just going to blast them all. I'm going to start with black, though, and whatever was left in here. Cool speckling. I like the black. Put a little bit of yellow on her. Ooh, that did not come through at all. Let's put some more yellow on her. That black is really overpowering. I'll keep that in mind. It's full of paint right now. Now it's out of paint. This is going to be just a dirty boy when I'm done with it. Look at that. That's funny. Uh, I threw a bunch of white in there because I don't think I'm going to get contrast from any other color with the black in there. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, little bring it back time. That's sweet. Now we're talking, baby. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but there is so many different tiny, like less than a millimeter speckles between white and black and white and black. And then like, you can see too up in this corner, I have a little bit of red, yellow. Oh, this is cool. And don't mind the bullet holes in it. That's just so sweet, dude. I'm pretty excited right now. Okay, guys, I had to take you off tripod to show you my mess I got going on right now. <laughs> Literally just last night, was like, yeah, let's go do it tomorrow. So just threw all the stuff together, whatever. But okay, so we got number one here so far. This is not with the poly on it yet. This actually turned out really cool. I'm not sure if you can see, but as it's drying, it's following the canvas and creating a darker outline. Almost looks like a digital camo, which is just super sweet. I think that's gonna show up really nice when I poly it. This is the second one. Um, I'm not as in love with this one, but it does have more of an organic kind of tone to it. This one is just sweet. I love that one. Like it goes from super heavy paint to speckling on the outside and bare canvas. That's cool. And then check out how this one went. I let it actually sit up and now the paint is dripping down. There's so much. You have this whole paint spot here and then you got the drips and then speckling between red and blue on the outside. That is just sweet. And I'm definitely going inside right now to give this old girl a bath. Whew! All right, so real quick, this is what they look like dry. It's a little wet in the middle yet, but. So very matte, matte finish. I'll take you over this colored one. Get out of here, fly. Definite matte finish now, and I'm gonna hit it with the poly and see what happens. And here we are with our first take of suppressor art. I did put the clear coat on. It did shine it up just a little bit, no more matte. I think it's gonna hold that color a lot better now too. I think these turned out really nice. I really like the different patterns especially this one this one is just awesome so much different you got a couple big drops you got the speckling on the side tiny different drops in the middle come out like that really like that one but all in all i think they're all pretty sweet so besides those turning out super awesome uh the other thing i wanted to mention was my barrel had no paint in it. The bolt had no paint on it. The can cleaned up super easy because I got that wa water base. It's almost like kid's paint. It just comes off with water. Um, I'm going to re-soak it in the CLP, though, to make sure it doesn't corrode or anything like that. But long story short, I had a super fun day today. That was really fun. I want to say thank you to you guys for the comments and, like, kind of making this video happen. Give me the idea. But had a blast. I think I'm going to keep doing this, make some YouTube shorts. 
like with the paint up close and stuff like that. So I don't know. And I might sell these. So that would be super cool too. If I do, they'll be in the link. Um, besides that, guys, thanks for watching.